Halloween is my favorite time of year, and, well, I thought that there would be no more of a fitting game to review than a Kooji Demon. My first adventures with the game pretty much started in terms of getting it to work. I got an error saying that this DLL was missing, and I was like, okay. So, practically 30 minutes after searching, because this DLL is apparently hard to find, I finally got it. And this is the result. I'm expected to work with this. This means nothing to me. It's supposed to be Japanese text, but my computer can't get that to display. So, I'm pretty much screwed from here. Tons of searching for this DLL again, installing it again, getting it all ready again, looking up for a patch. I figured out what I had to do. I had to go into the freaking code and change full screen to false. This is in the README, so thanks. Now I recommend configuring your keys because everything is assigned to Z at the moment. Okay, so after all that work, is it really worth it? Well, when I booted out the game, the first thing I noticed was holy crap, the jumping is pretty weird. I mean, the gravity is very heavy, apparently, and if you go jumping off in one direction, that's the direction you're gonna go flying in. If you jump directly up, you won't be able to change your momentum. You have to hold left and then jump, and then you go in that direction, and you can't stop, you can't slow down, you're just jettisoning in that direction. This is pretty easy to get used to, though. Anyways, this is what's classified as a Metroidvania game the sense is that we run around and of course collect things like abilities and of course the game feels a bit like Castlevania which was a pretty cool feeling and a pretty fitting feeling the controls are good If you can seek past the control, which is pretty easy yet again, the gameplay is pretty solid. It starts off easy enough and it gets harder and harder as you progress. Unfortunately, I didn't get that far in this run, but I really didn't want to spoil any story. The story is really interesting. This is also a game that you're going to be backtracking a lot, though like in Knit Stories, the backtracking is really fun. Every time I find a power-up, I'm really excited to go exploring and see what I can go and do now. At first, you can't really get anywhere. Later on, you're going to discover that that point that you were stuck at so long ago is now nothing more of a breeze. This is also one of those games I love because it's very arcadey in the sense that you'll die and die and die, and you'll have to remember where to go. Luckily, there are little save points of these demons or devil statues as they're called that you can save at when you die you will just appear at one of those the game has several unlockables including gallery books you have to complete the game in order to see them but I bet they're all worth it the bosses feel as so very fitting to the gameplay they start off easy like this guy and they do get progressively harder now, I remember off-screen, I did in fact make it to the second boss, which is just a bit more complicated than this. Difficulty curve, excellent. Now, as you can see, the game has a timer. Now, I do not know if this game has a time limit. I doubt it does. Those of you who like to beat games very quickly, eat your heart out. Even though this is a game about a demon, it doesn't have to look all dark and dreary and stuff, even though it doesn't really seem to stray too far from this visual formula. I read a comment saying that this is one of the cuter looking games, and to be quite honest, I can't really blame that person. Akuchi is pretty much every bright color you could see, and overabundantly pink. The game seems to take place in various caverns or at least that's how it is for me because I've yet to get that far in this. The game overall in terms of graphics, it's fun to look at and it has very good looking cartoony visuals. Now, I mean no offense to the designer of the game, but I kind of find the music a little unfitting. 
especially this swingy type tune playing in the background for a good portion of the first part of the game. Other than this tune in particular, the rest of the soundtrack, which I heard in a file, because it is general MIDI, um, I really like it. Sound effects, they're fine, with the exception of the sound effect that plays whenever text scrolls. It's annoying, it's high-pitched, and people a good maybe mile away from you can hear it. If only it took the cave story route and was just this deep sound. Oh well, it's just a sound anyway. Akuji Demon is just one of those games that whenever you open it, you're going to end up playing it and getting farther and farther every time. No two experiences with the game will be the same, other than the small flaws of getting it to work. It's, put plain and simple, one of those indie game classics. Thank you.